Alright, hello guys, and welcome to your first episode of Winter Thoughts for the winter of 2019 to 2020, and I know it's like super, super early. This isn't going to be a forecast by any means, we're just going to be looking at the Jams Tech model because this model is starting to put out some information for the winter of 2019 to 2020, so we are going to be taking a look at what it's showing and what that means. A lot could change, obviously. Oh, it's pretty much a 50% chance that a lot of this is going to change or not even be close to what this is showing, but it is just kind of more interesting than anything. We are going to be looking at what the Jams Tech is calling for as far as sea surface temperatures and then precipitation and then also uh, air temperature uh, comparatively to normal. So that's going to be really fun to look at. We're going to start out with your sea surface temperatures though. Uh, and you're just going to have to kind of bear with me as I'll try to mention the geographical locations of these certain anomalies. But we do see a lot of those warm temperatures there for the northern Pacific Ocean, uh, specifically uh, closer to the west coast of the United States. That's what we call a positive PDO. This one kind of looks odd. It reminds me a lot of last winter where it's kind of offshore a little bit and really oddly shaped. So we, we're going to keep that in mind. You might also want to take note of the, the Enso region, which is kind of right near the equatorial Pacific and, and it extends all the way into the middle of the Pacific Ocean and this is where we see El Nino take place. It looks like a neutral ENSO though, not really showing much in any direction of any sort of temperature. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this sets up. And a neutral ENSO would be really interesting though for this winter and that usually is kind of like a blank slate for the winter to kind of take place and it allows other oscillations to kind of take over more. So it looks like as of right now, no El Nino or La Nina for this winter. Uh, another thing to mention, south of Greenland we see a lot of those cold temperatures and that's going to be kind of like the opposite of blocking. So that's going to be kind of bad for the east coast of the United States this winter. If you wanted cold and snow, uh, that's not going to help. As long as that looks to stay in place, it's going to be quite interesting to see if we can get a cold winter with this type of setup. But uh, we're going to see if this changes or not obviously. But uh, that, that's not a good look as far as snow and cold in the eastern United States. Now we're going to move on to your precipitation forecast and you can see there is an above normal precipitation region there for uh, most of the eastern United States and then drier than normal up against the west coast obviously because we don't have an El Nino uh, that would look to be the case. Now up against the east coast and kind of inland is where we see more of the above average precipitation it looks like which is interesting because that looks a lot like last winter. Uh, we had kind of you know the storm track taking place where we'd see a lot of snow there for the interior regions of the United States but not up against the coast whatsoever. Now here's your air temperature forecast and you can see uh, very interesting we kind of have a southeast ridge it looks like so a lot of warm there up against Florida up into Virginia and it looks like even along the New England coast a little bit there is some warmer temperatures but it's very cold there for the western United States and then for the north central United States into the south central United States it looks like that's where the trough uh, or the coldest conditions during this winter would look to set up according to this model. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this changes. And usually at least this air temperature forecast changes quite a bit, uh, you know, very sporadically this time of year. Uh, but it is interesting that it is calling for this uh, cold in the western and central United States as we haven't seen that in a few winters, or at least it call for that. Uh, last winter we did kind of see those types of conditions, but we didn't, uh, we weren't forecasting for this to happen. Anybody was. Uh, as far as I know, nobody was calling for that to happen last winter, uh, but we haven't really had a, a winter going into it where we felt like it was going to be colder in the West since, I mean, very long ago. It might have been 2011 to 2012 even, so very, very long time ago. So it's going to be very interesting to see this winter play out. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for future updates on the winter as obviously we get way closer to winter. I will be updating this a lot. Probably the next winter thoughts update will be in an entire month from now because I don't really have much to upload on except for the Jams Tech updating. Obviously, I'm not going to be making any sort of forecast for this winter until at least maybe July or August. So it's going to have to wait a long time. Uh, but we will be doing these types of updates on the models and things like that as they come out. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.